uh, as a basketball player, but also as a, as a businessman. Like he he his he he transcended basketball. Where it was like you're not just an athlete; you're you're a market like the marketing. Yes, absolutely. Sponsorship. Like he made so much money just off sponsorship. His, his NBA contract was, was nothing. He made more money yeah. from and commercials and advertising. Yeah, right. The advertisement. Yeah. Sure. So that's why I look at Michael Jordan. I, I, what I respect about LeBron is a lot of athletes, they get in trouble, they do a lot of dumb stuff, but you can't say that LeBron's ever done anything wrong outside of being a new age basketball player and saying, I'm taking my career into my own hands. Does he have a shoe? Absolutely. Yeah. How many LeBrons you got? How many I don't wear LeBrons. Oh, okay. So I'm, you... I'm strictly Jordan. Okay. I'm, I'm very brand loyal. Okay. You see, I, I, I got a pair of LeBron socks. But... <laughs> he he sells socks too? I got, yeah. You wear yeah. socks? Not the shoes. It was a gift, so I got to win. You got to wear them. Okay. There you wear them. That's, that's really interesting. You know, I, my take on LeBron is just that I, I don't even compare. There will never be another Michael Jordan, just Absolutely. like there will never be another Will Chamberlain. Oh, no. There will never be another Tiger Woods. Those people are unique. To me, they create their own legacy, and I just feel that LeBron is creating his own legacy. Mm-hmm. And just let him do it in his own space, because the game he's playing right now is not the same game that Jordan was playing. Absolutely. No. He fall down too much. You, <laughs> why he keep falling like He's that? a flopper. He's a flopper. He's a bad mother flopper. <laughs> yeah. He's a bad mother flopper. <laughs> but this, this, I, what, I, what I like about LeBron is he's, a, he's, a, he's better than Michael Jordan in the sense that size-wise and the way he impacts the game is, is he, the way he passes the ball. Michael Jordan, he was, a, he was an okay passer, but Michael Jordan took over the game and inserted his, his dominance through his scoring and defensive abilities. He didn't LeBron, have to pass it. LeBron James, he, he makes his team. He, everywhere he goes, makes teams better. So yes. I respect him. Like you said, they shouldn't compare him to Michael Jordan. They should let him build his own legacy. But, you know, you got to keep people interested, so you got to always kind of throw you gotta somebody keep, in there. You got to keep putting the it next, out there. The next Michael Jackson. The yeah. next, it's like, no. Yeah. They'll never be. They'll never be, exactly. There's some people, there's, there's no more Whitney Houston's. There's no more Michael Jackson's. There's no more Michael Jordan's. Absolutely. People come along and have to do their own thing. All right, do you watch hockey? I don't. I don't, wow. but I support Chicago. So if we win, I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna break in the shoe store or something. Are we just to <laughs> celebrate? Well, this this could this could be you no, know yeah. tonight's the That's Black tonight, right? It's the Lightning yeah, here in Chicago. They could, they could close it out, win the Stanley Cup, third third Stanley Cup in six seasons, which is huge. Absolutely huge. So and the good thing about I'm glad that the hockey season over, so people can start coming back out to shows. <laughs> they stop canceling shows and, and people, you know, missing games. A little yeah. turnout. Uh, okay. Okay. So you don't want to talk. But either way, so that's big for Chicago. At least, you know, um, celebration reasons. Hopefully it will be peaceful, folks. Yes. Let's not, let's not misbehave ourselves. We should be used to winning. We're well, usually pretty good. We were good when well, they won the last time, yeah, right? Hockey fans. I remember, I remember the first time the Bulls won in 1991. I was six years old. and it was, I was not. We grew up on the, I, was, I lived on the west side, and we lived like a few blocks off Madison. It was just smoke billowing from, from Madison. People walking down the streets with like Afghan rugs on their shoulder. I'm like, man, that's, what, what's going on? That's that's absolutely insane. You're tuned into the Maya Kai Show, and it's new home on 90.5 FM HD Radio, or maybe you're listening to Sirius Radio, Channel 432. And of course, we're streaming worldwide via Live 360. And I'm getting messages. They want. Can you tell them how to do that? What? How to? How to do? How to get, find so, what? Like live, like yeah. live 365, yeah. or so we can stream online. Okay, so there's a couple ways. Either I, I do have it posted on my page. You can always go to the My Archive page, which you should be following me, and click on the links. I have all the links there. But let's just say you know you just want to go to Live 365 and you want to click on the link so that you can listen. Um, when you go in, you'll have to search WGSJBC Radio, and that will bring up. Those are the the very unique call letters. Thanks to Rob G. <laughs> thanks, Rob. Rob G, thanks. <laughs> and you'll find it that way as well. Um, iHeartRadio. You just go to iHeartRadio.com, but you do have to search the Rob G Afternoon Show, and boom, there we are. You can listen that way. But if you want to watch and listen, probably the easiest way to just kind of listen to this online is if you go to the station website, which is the WGSJBCRadio.com, and you, th- you can either click and listen, which will send you right to Live 365, or you see the live stream feed right there on the page. So that's probably right. the easiest way if you want to listen online. It's probably the simplest way. Way to do it is just to go to the website and listen that way. Stop it kind of, asking me because I don't know. Because it kind of integrates all those things in it, so that would be the, like, the easy way. I don't know my job. <laughs> well, she's, she's, she's not being held, you know, accountable for that right now. <laughs> my, my right now. Day. Right don't now. Ask me. If you want to join the conversation, you have some questions for me or even for our guest in studio, Calvin Evans. You can always dial in to seven zero eight two two three zero zero three zero as well to get your comments in. Or social media is always appropriate. You can go to the Maya Akai Show and post your comments there, or you can go to. Um, Nikki Brayton on Facebook and the Nikki Brayton on Instagram and Nikki Brayton on Twitter. And how can our listeners find you on social media? I mean, you got this pretty all mapped out well, but how can they find you? Uh, Facebook is uh, just Calvin Evans, C-A-L-V-I-N-E-V-A-N-S. Uh, Instagram is comedy with a K because I'm a cap with K-O-M-E-D-Y underscore Y-O, comedy yo. And then on the... Uh, 
Somebody's gonna call in and put yeah, call in and put Calvin in the hot seat. And then, oh, uh, wait. Oh wow! Okay, uh-uh. there's, there's some conflicts already in the studio. In conflict. studio conflict. <laughs> That's why because Rob G is a a what Q. Oh, oh man! See, like I said, there's lots of you conflicts. Got, you got the right year. Look, you got a, you got a, you got a big you got a big ten <laughs> conflict because you've got two Iowa University of Iowa you know grads that, here. Then you've got a Michigan State. It does not match at all. University of Illinois. Illinois. And, then that, and, then, and Maya has all my colors, too. <laughs> I'm sorry. This color is just a long before Omega Sci Fi. <laughs> if you don't believe me, just check out the Your prism MacBook spectrum. MacBook is my that's, color. Because purple is my favorite color. That's that, magenta. That's magenta. That's blue. Folks, it, there's <laughs> variety of purples out there. What's all this segregation? We yeah, what's going man? on? You this know what? Love. Ask oh. Rachel. No, I'm just kidding. Come on, black people. <laughs> you know what? I'm looking at the screen right now, and it is purple. Are we going to have that uh, dress color uh, thing going on here? Um, it's my favorite color. So it's purple. Whatever. Look at the screen, course, everybody. It, it, it's a version of purple. I bought it. It's my favorite color. So what? I'm going to add this. Look what we did for you. Uh, mine. And then you got a purple back. Yeah, her, her is gold. Is that, See, that's oh, is that gold and purple? Oh, well, yeah. kind of, Why'd you bring that up? I okay. <laughs> anyway, to make Rob calm down, Rob G. Calm down. Calm down. Focus on the board. Get this right. Hey, no. You're doing a great job, man. Just don't cut my mic off, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's find out more about Calvin Evans, the the man. So let me throw some things at you. Have kind of been some 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 key. You got a girlfriend. On, that's what everybody. Everybody's at. You got a girlfriend. Oh, everybody, everybody. Who's everybody? Oh, right. Look, I have people. I'm talking. I'm communicating. She's, she's she's being social media right now. Right. Okay. So. Are you single? Uh, is it complicated? No, com- no comment. Okay. okay, that means um, no comment. Well, that I'll means- tell you what. Let me just say this: if you say no comment, <laughs> comment and whoever and, and, and I'm your girl, when you yeah, leave, you gonna have a problem. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Either way, oh, you gonna have a problem. <laughs> I, I like. I like to. Be, I like to stay mysterious. Mm. No comment. Okay, mm-hmm. um, whoever that check special out, lady is, check out Calvin. you are mysterious. <laughs> check out Calvin. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so um, he refuses to um, share his status. Now, see, from a relationship standpoint, now I, I do get when you are in a celebrity or any kind of public eye, it does kind of behoove you. It to, does behoove to not really not talk about yes. your status because on my Facebook status, I have nothing. I have nothing there. It's nobody's business. I figured if I wanted to share that with you, um, you know, Absolutely. I would have done that. So I understand why a lot of people don't really share that. And, and a lot of times, you know, you when you tell people whether male or female, you like you got a girlfriend, and you you know, you'd be like, uh, yeah, or you say, you know, no, it kind of they it changes how they act towards you. Yes. Mm-hmm. So it's just like you know what, let's just stay at arm's length. So with social media, do you find like do people like you know maybe they friend you on Facebook or Twitter or whatever the case may be, and then do like do you have the issues with the inbox stalkers like people who like inbox you or message you all the time like hey what's up boo what you doing do you get that a lot uh i've, I've had it happen but it's not it's not a problem like i don't i don't get people i don't i don't know if i come off as like unapproachable off stage you do so i i mean i mean I, and i'm, I'm, I'm i didn't talk to you for two years <laughs> <laughs> who's this guy I think he is <laughs> right <laughs> you know so I, I i try to you know i don't think i don't have a problem like every once in a while people be like hey you know what's going on and i'm like oh, i'm good <laughs> thank, thank you, see, thank you. But, 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 but see, that, I, but I feel like that's what I don't. My social media is for entertainment Business. purposes. Right. Entertainment purposes right. only. But is it because the right person hasn't inboxed you and said, "Hey, what's up, Calvin?" Because you know, what's, who's the right person? Somebody, no, I know somebody, 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 you, know. somebody you actually find attractive. Nah, I mean, what's attractive? Like I'm, from I'm, top to bottom, not neck down, but top to bottom. I'm not, I'm not a superficial person. Really? Not at all. I don't. I don't. So I don't, if she had like, side eye. so like if she had a body like Rihanna and a face like Bill Cosby, you and but a, a, a radiant personality, you could date her. I don't know. All, all of a sudden, we, have, we gotta have a conversation. <laughs> I mean, just I mean, you, I mean, you gotta talk to people. I like different things about people. Wow! So, so you're not if you, you look at my, the whole standard of beauty my, thing. If you look at my track record of girlfriends, none of my girlfriends have no Ooh, don't. common threads. Okay. Ooh, I thought she was about to say like none of them was attractive. No, no, no. Of course they they beautiful, but I'm saying, what I'm saying is like you never look at somebody and be like, oh, he dates these type, type of women. So that's not, that's oh, never okay. been my, like I like people for you know. So you have are. a variety of different types. That's yeah. that's a good thing. I think more people need to understand that variety is always a good thing. So okay. On Facebook, there were a couple different things that were posted last week that I thought were interesting, and I definitely wanted to drop in your lap. So okay. there was an, uh, a – it probably started on Instagram, all the photos of the girl who proposed to her, her boyfriend. Did you see that? Did you see the photos where she, was, yeah, she, she got, got on her one knee, one. broke the ring? You know, he, they're taking pictures. He's got a picture of his hand, which I, th- I thought was <laughs> that really was weird. Crazy. By the way, in front of his BMW logo in his car, you mm-hmm. know? But it was kind of weird to me, and it seemed um, very uh, – Feminine, but that's another story. Him holding his hand because yeah, he was like, like look, look, at my, look at my, look at my. I bling. did it. <laughs> <laughs> so here's your question, as a man, because I know you kind of said you, you you aim to be a Renaissance man. How do you feel about a woman proposing to a man? Um, I mean, I'm not necessarily old fashioned, but I feel like that is the the role. 
I feel like that's that's a man's exactly. that's a man's that's a man's place. Mm-hmm. And you know, I wanna you know, I wanna be a man for you. And I feel like if a, if a woman proposes to you, that changes the dynamic. It's kind of like, whole, yeah, I, you know, like I I don't I, I can't say. I mean, I, I I like to play devil's advocate, but for me, I, I would I'll be shocked as hell if would somebody, you say no though? Like if somebody proposed to you, would you say I, no? anybody? I, it's hard to say no in those situations. I don't get man, woman, whatever. Somebody get down on one knee in front of you and, and put a ring out, and, and it's people looking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, but would you say no later? I mean, would you be like just? To save face, I'm gonna say yeah. But I mean, I probably get, say we yeah. get to the house. I'm gonna be like, um. I'm be like, what you doing? Get up! Get the ring. What you, doing? you just found this ring. Like, I, where you get this ring from? No, but uh, I. I can't say. You know, there was a lot of, you know, mixed kind of responses to the post that I kind of put on Facebook. Actually, it came from Yanni Brown, who used to be part of Six Brown Chicks. Yes. She had posted it um, on her on her Facebook page, and I grabbed it and reposted it. And, you know, it was kind of mixed because some people were like, what's wrong with it? You know, if that's what she wants. And some people really said, you know, it's really about roles. Like, that's kind of what a man is supposed to do. And then people said, well, there, you know, in today's world, there's too much, you know, gender roles. People are too focused on what a man is supposed to do and what a woman's supposed to do. How do you feel about that? Because to me, I, I do believe there's a certain hierarchy of things when it comes to relationships and things of that nature uh i don't i don't necessarily subscribe to traditional man should do a woman should do like you know some people like a woman should cook a woman should it's like well i mean if she not like, those specific roles but i mean gender as far oh, gender, as like, a yeah, who, like who's breadwinner and stuff like right. that um we it's different times i mean so if you met someone and she happened to make significantly more money than you that wouldn't would that bother you not at all not at all i, I mean as long as if i'm happy in my career and she's happy in her career she just paying for the food more than I am. You know, like, <laughs> when we go out, we just going to different places. Like we going to Portillo's, and when we go out, we going to Roofquist on her. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's just, <laughs> it's, uh, Portillo on my budget, but when you, pay, I mean, we, we base we base what we do on each other's budgets. Like, hey, I ain't got it, but you know, if that's what you want to do, you know, you gonna have to pay for it. Yeah, could you could you be a stay at home dad? A stay at home. I'm a I'm a comedian. I got to be out. I mean, obviously you do that. But during, during the daytime, you know, if you if the grand's like, hey, we don't want someone else to rear our children. We don't want any daycare. So, you know, you stay home with the kids. Obviously, you go out and do your little comedy thing, Calvin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you look, do, you, do, you do your little skits. Do your little skits. Skit skit go do your little. <laughs> how your skits coming? <laughs> you no, know, I do. I do a lot of moving around, but I, I mean, I wouldn't mind if, if, if during the daytime, you know, two three hours. I watch my baby. <laughs> for a couple of hours. For a couple of hours. No, but I mean, I don't like that. That doesn't. That doesn't bother me. Like, I mean, okay. It, I mean, that, some men, you know, the idea of maybe being the person at home all the time they, that doesn't really appeal to them because that goes against the grain of gender roles. Like, you know, a man is not supposed to be the stay at home person, even if it makes sense to the family dynamic. Well, I mean, I mean, as long as you're doing something. Like, right. if this job is at night, it makes sense for you. You have nothing to do during the day. You don't leave the house until night, so you can stay home. Uh, you're going somewhere. Not a problem at all. Yeah, in my opinion. Okay, that's good. So you're okay with a woman proposing to you, even though you would prefer? I would prefer. I would prefer to make that decision. And I mean, even if if somebody proposes proposes to you, I'm pretty. It has to be an understanding, but mutually. So even if I'm proposing to a woman or she's, it has to be understanding that hey, we're gonna take this next step. Sure. So I mean, as but long- women are usually ready. Like if I've been with you for two or three years, you know, I'm ready. You said never. Y'all never not ready. We're never not ready. <laughs> We're never not ready. Two or three years, I'm ready. So you, so show, up, whenever, you show up on the first day with, dre- with the dress on. I didn't say the first day, <laughs> but I'm saying if we've been together for a su- substantial amount of time, you can pretty much... You tend to know. You, it's I'm ready. Easy, you guys or else I would have been gone a long time. I got you. Ago. Okay. So like 15 so years so with you, I don't know if you're ready. Appropriate. I'm not asking you because you might not be ready. Because then, yeah. It, I mean, it's, it's like getting your shot blocked. Right. When you go, oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> you're like, oh, man. Uh, how do you, how do you, you ain't no transition from getting off your knee with that there ring still no, in your hand. There is ah, none. It just puts this back in my yeah, pocket. Yeah, there is none. There <laughs> is none. There's no, there's no like proper transition. Get I've out. seen a million videos on um, Facebook and that kind of thing of men proposing to women. I've seen one woman run out of a mall and say no. Just <laughs> one. Go. Maya Kaisho, we got Calvin Evans in studio. He's our man crush Monday for his candidate here. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Side, the matchup you've been waiting for, a field of dreams for some, and a long ride home for others. Sounding so good through the air, it's like you're right there. Folks, you want to score? People, she's got your game. It's the Fire Kai Show, featuring comedian Nikki Braden. She is pretty funny with your host, Maya Kai. Radio never looks so good.
All right, we are back. That's our new show opener. I like it a lot. Me too. You know, thank you to Elliot Range, who's been a longtime friend of mine. I've known him like since we were kids. And I'm like, hey, Elliot, I need I need a new show opener. Um, and he knows I'm a, like a sports fanatic, and so he managed to work that all in there. So big ups. Thank you so much to Elliot Range. He Good job, did that. He, Elliot. Yeah, he did that kind of like really quick and on the fly, but he loves music. So big thank you to Elliot Range. So.